Hey everyone, Chris aka Coherence here, doing a quick little video on Serato DJ using Ableton Link, specifically with DVS. It had been a little while since I'd used Ableton Link and somebody on the Serato forums had recently asked about using DVS in Serato DJ to drive Ableton Link so that he could use various external effects or drive MIDI or any external devices, playback tracks and samples, etc. So since it had been a while, I figured I'd go ahead and fire it up, walk through the process and see if I can save anyone a few headaches or pitfalls in the future. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Serato DJ and open up your settings. Inside your settings, you're going to want to go down to the sync section. Um, unfortunately, this whole process does require that you use sync. You're going to want to select either simple sync or smart sync. And the key is that you want to make sure that snap to beat grid is enabled. If that's already grayed out, that's fine. And a quick check of DVS to make sure everything's working. Yep, looks like we're good. Let's get started. Go ahead and exit out of setup. And then in the upper left hand corner, you should have the little link icon. Go ahead and press link to enable it. It should turn blue. You'll also notice that all of your sync buttons have now switched to link buttons instead. We'll get back to this later. Next, let's open up Ableton Live. I'm using Ableton Live Lite 9, I think it's 9.6. And we're gonna go ahead and open up the options and then preferences tab. In preferences, we're gonna wanna select the audio tab and make sure that you're using an ASIO based driver. In this case, I'm using SEO for all since I don't need any particular input. Next, you're going to want to go to the Link MIDI tab. Under Link MIDI, the only thing we need to worry about is the Show Link Toggle button. We're going to switch that from Hide to Show, and it should show up orange. If it shows up in gray, chances are you didn't select an SEO based driver. You'll need to go back and do that. Once that's done, in the upper left hand corner, you'll have the link button now showing next to the tap button by the BPM display. Click that once now and it should show one link as it links with Serato. Now we can head back over to Serato DJ, load up a track and get started. Something to note, when you first engage link on a deck, it's going to synchronize that deck to whatever Ableton's current BPM is. So in this example, uh, if you take a look at track 4, track 4 is sitting idle at 118.53 BPM, but Link, if you look up at the top there where I've got that transposed, it's showing 100.78 BPM. So while you will be able to control the pitch after Link is enabled, something to note is that when you do hit Link, it's going to switch to 100.78 BPM and you'll need to adjust from there. If you were to say ramp up your pitch all the way to plus 8, plus 10, whatever your controller or turntable or CD DJ maxes out at and then enable link, you could put yourself in a scenario where you can't increase the BPM at all without disabling link and repositioning the fader. Keep that in mind, especially for live performance. And off we go. You can see that the BPM jumps as soon as I start the track. This is DVS. I had my pitch fader maxed all the way out. And so you'll notice that when I press link, which by the way, link is a button on the interface. You could probably map it via MIDI, but by default, I just went ahead and clicked it. Uh, when I press that, it does in fact lock to the 100.78. And then I'm able to adjust using my fader, which again was already maxed out. So I, I could only go down. Now I'll bring in that second track. Go ahead and launch it. I can adjust the BPM, attempt to match, I'm not in this case, but just to demonstrate. And then we go ahead and link that one, and snap, it immediately syncs to the other one. So if you were looking to use Ableton Link in a full free-floating DVS situation, that's not exactly what's going to happen. Um, uh, but you can at least make sure that whatever you're playing in Serato and whatever that master clock is, which Serato doesn't necessarily have that master and non-master clock situation, it's all just either in the sync pool or not, um, that will be exported and linked into Ableton, and from there you can use it for a whole variety of things since Serato doesn't actually push out any MIDI signal. So I hope that was able to help at least one person out there getting Serato set up with Ableton Link and at least demonstrating that it does work with DVS but unfortunately does require sync in some capacity. With that, if you want any more videos or any tutorials on specific aspects of this on Serato DJ, on Ableton, Ableton Link, anything like that, just shoot me a message in the comments and we'll go ahead and put something together. And until next time, thanks for tuning in.